In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how you can get a crisp selection to your mask in Photoshop. And there's two ways I normally do that, which I'll be showing you in this video. So let's go ahead and begin by selecting our solid color so I can add a black background to show you exactly what I'm doing. And I'll drag that below my image. Now let's select our image and then go to our tools and select our marquee selection tool. So we can see the select and mask button. Select that button so we can get into this menu. And then I want to make sure my marching ants is on so I can see my selection when it is done. So. Let's go to the select subject button here at the top and select this drop down. I like to use the cloud detailed results. I just find that the selection is finer to the, uh, the outline. And then let's select subject. Uh, the selection is actually very good, but um, let's make it imperfect so I can show you how to smooth it. So let's grab our quick selection tool here and then select alt or option on your keyboard to remove some of the selection. And I'll just make some chunks in my selection so we can smooth this out. All right, so as you see, we have a very jagged line in Photoshop and let's go ahead and smooth this out now. Let's go to our view and make this on layers so we can see just how bad that looks. So now in our settings, there's two main sliders, feather and contrast. These are the two main sliders that are gonna help you smooth out your selection. So let's increase the feather until we have a nice smooth outline. So somewhere around here where the, uh, the dents aren't so bad in your selection. So this acts as like a blur to blur your outline. And now let's go and increase our contrast to smooth out that feathering. And just tweak these two sliders until we have a smooth selection. And yeah, as you see, if you do too much, it uh, kind of contracts your selection. And uh, you can also use the smooth slider to further smooth your selection. And if you see too much white around the edges, you can use the shift edge slider to either expand or contract your selection. And uh, you can also down here use your brush tool and uh, we can bring back some of this detail. Your brush will not work if you have some text highlighted here, so make sure to hit enter. <laughs> okay, so now I can zoom in and see my selection. So let's grab our brush tool and use this to bring back some of this jagged edge. If I add too much like this, you can use alt or option on your keyboard to remove that bit of your selection. And then let's go ahead and hit okay. And then let's hit the make mask button. Yeah, that's one way you can smooth your edges in Photoshop. Now let's go ahead and delete this mask. And now the other way, and I normally do this in Illustrator actually, but you can do this as well in Photoshop, and that is with your pen tool. So grab your pen tool, then just, uh, yeah, make a selection with your pen tool. Now there's two different types of masks you can make. One is your normal mask and two is a vector mask. And I'll begin by making a vector mask, which you can do by right clicking on your image, make sure it's selected first, then right click and go to create vector mask. And as you see, I have all these anchor points that I can still adjust, move around and tweak as I would like. And if you ever lose these anchor points, you can also go to your paths panel and you can find it here and you can activate it by holding option or alt on your keyboard and then just clicking on your work path. And uh, we can also convert this into your normal path by just right clicking on your vector path and then rasterize vector. And then that just gives you your normal black and white mask that you can draw with your brush uh, with white if you wanna add more of your image back. And those are two ways you can smooth jagged or blurry edges in Photoshop. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, it would mean a lot if you left a thumbs up and subscribed if you haven't already. It helps a lot to support the channel and to continue making content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.